Hey guys, I'm here with the man, Jack Trenton, President and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment America. Jack, Monday night, PlayStation press conference. Have you ever seen anything like that? Never ever, Sid. I mean, 27 years in this industry, 18 years with Sony, every E3. That was the watershed moment in my career. Most exciting thing I've ever experienced. Electrifying is the word I hear used a lot, and for once it feels apt. But one of the things I wanted to talk about was the reception around used games and game ownership for PS4. You seem to really strike a nerve with that. No question about it. I mean, we listen to our consumers. We value our relationship with them above anything else. And I think this generation, we did a better job listening to our consumers, finding out what's important to them, and also to the development community and putting the tools in their hands. And you know, the end result of that is this beautiful PlayStation 4. And we know uh, that consumers value the right to do what they, what they choose with the games. And if it isn't broke, why try to fix it? All right, that's uh, no better way to say it than that. Let's talk a little bit about this price too, $399. That, that kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it. That, that's a great price for something that's, frankly, the most powerful console out there. It's a tremendous value. I mean, we are going to sell more PlayStation 4s during the holiday season than any of our previous generations. It's a tremendous price point, most powerful machine ever made, and it's going to have an unbelievable lineup of games. And that's another one I want to talk about, the games. It was games, games, games. I mean, everything from Killzone, Shadowfall, all those guys at PlayStation Worldwide Studios working overtime to bring out the best. But then. I love the gesture to indie developers. That was a big moment and it got a big reaction from the crowd. I mean, PlayStation, it's just, that's unusual for a company like PlayStation to, to, to reach out to indie developers like that. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Never a better time to be a gamer. I mean, creativity comes from all over the world and instead of having to depend on big budget studios to drive creativity. You can have one person, two person teams, anybody can be a developer, and we want to give them the opportunity to self-publish, and we want to do anything we can to lower the financial barriers. We want to bring all the creative juices available in the world to PlayStation, so that ultimately anybody who owns our machine has the best possible games to play. Yeah, I'm just, I'm still kind of, my mind's still blown by the reception. I mean, clearly it was well received. We're hearing that everywhere. I'm hearing that on Twitter. We're hearing that in the media. What, any closing thoughts just on, on where we stand here at E3? I said at the, the start of the press conference, I mean, what gets me up in the morning is our consumers, I mean, these passionate gamers, and, and you know when they're happy, and unfortunately you know when they're not happy, but you know they motivate me and they drive me. They're, you know, it's, it's such great satisfaction to be able to bring them great entertainment and to know that you helped make some people happy. I mean, there's no better feeling in the world. All right, that was Jack Trenton. We're going to go back to PlayStation Livecast. That's just awesome to hear. When you know you made people happy, that's the best feeling in the world. And it really just, the press conference last night, everything, or two nights ago, pitch perfect, so amazing. You know, it's not every week that you get to witness the unveiling of a new game console. Mathematically speaking, it's not even most weeks. Monday's reveal of the PlayStation 4 was just awesome to witness. You know, pictures, video, 2D media, they do not do the design of this thing justice, but don't take it from us, Ray Gutierrez took to the floor to find out what people are saying about the look of the PS4. You know, we've got the PlayStation Vita, we've got the PlayStation 3, but everyone's here to see the PlayStation 4. So you just walked up to the PlayStation 4 shrine. What are your immediate reactions when you saw this beautiful piece of hardware? It's a very slick looking design. She's beautiful. I'm in love at first sight. The angles, really sharp, really slick. You look at those lines and you can tell it's a futuristic design. It's a premium design. It reminded me of a beautiful sports car the first time I saw it. First thing I thought was a Ferrari on a console. guy who has home theater and I like to showcase my device and I want to put it out there. I don't want to tuck it away under the cabinet. I want to let people know I got a new console and that says new console right there to me. There's nothing negative I can say about it. It's, just, it's a beautiful machine. But I mean again, hey, at the price point too, I can't complain. So $399. It's been an amazing experience so far and I'm so glad to be here. And the new design is really awesome. But I still got to wait a few more months it seems like.